morning everybody yes we're back at the allotment my name is tony smith that's daisy this is my allotment hello everyone welcome right today we're going to do something a little bit controversial if i can get into the bloody garden one moment right so bringing this basket with us they're always handy these things we got some plants the other day when they came with that. Right, let's just, Daisy, we can just have a little run around. <laughs> so yes, a little bit later, we're gonna mess on and do something a little bit controversial. But first, actually, green hose pipe. We'll get ready for watering the poly tunnel. I haven't been in there yet for a couple of days, well, two days, this is the second day. So I'm hoping them peppers that I planted are all right. I watched Gardeners World, anyone who watch it? And Monty says, he was doing, I Gardeners World. <laughs> he was doing his peppers. Then he said he puts them in pots and waters them every day. Well, I've never heard of that, mind you, but, oh, they're looking all right. Well, they're still there. I mean, <laughs> they're not going to be huge, you know, but everything's, they'll be going out soon. The sweet corn, the warmth here, there now, you know. Look at, see, there's me field reaper. They're all kind of coming there now. So, first off, first off, oh, it's all good stuff. Ah, it's, I thought it wouldn't be as bad. I'm going to pick a lot of spinach, well loads of it, because I'm going to take the spinach out and all that's kind of gone to seed. And I'm hoping that it's not like a bit of taste because I'm taking it to work today, this afternoon. So I'm going to get all that out. Obviously I'm not going to take it all to work, but I've best, mind you, even that would just be like a couple of panfuls. So I'm just going for as many leaves as I can and like I say I'll be well little leaves should I say and I'll be steaming it up at work with a lot with a lot of butter <laughs> oh yeah what I'm intending to do is once this once I've done me picking is put in those little you know those little turnips the purple headed ones I'm just gonna cut this side just straight off hey go look at that four bags of spinach they're fantastic what I'm gonna do I cut this one, as I mentioned. I'm gonna hopefully just leave that and see if I can get another crop without it kind of running the seed. Still a couple of leaves there. But I'm gonna pull this one. And I think that would be enough space for them turnips, I think. So let's get in with that. God, I need that. <laughs> Truly. In. This was there's the label there. Perpetual spinach. There's the bloody handle. <laughs> so these are the ones that I'm putting in. And these were them, they were called Milan Purple Top. If anyone didn't know, they were just a tiny little turnip, golf ball size, and that's all I want. And I'm just going to bang them in probably pretty tightly as well. Right. Look at this, what I've just spotted. When you get all the underneath off, the bloody things there, man. Oh, yeah, buggers. There's loads of these kind of snails, mind you, in Whitburn. Do you know what I mean? Our back garden is just covered. The walls, you know these walls here? That type of wall there, just covered in it. And apparently in the olden days, they were all came from far and wide. Get out off there. Get off there, far and wide to pick them, to eat them. So I've had Daisy, 
off you're not where's your bed i'll get that bed she keeps going on me Bloody peppers right yeah there you go there you go clever girl clever girl so like i said i just want to feel a bloody rain coming you know it was a gorgeous day this morning and it said it's going to rain by 10 o'clock it's 20 to 10 there now and it's totally well we're sitting outside having a coffee right let's get this get you put here i've got 24 there might be can you see oh, yeah. <laughs> there's a bit of a tight little one but oh here's the rain already i've multi sewed these as well so there's a few in the probably about four or five seeds in the little collection each pod there we go so a, a fair crammed them in i mean there's 24 in this little space but i'm going for quantity not size if i get them at a golf ball size that would be absolutely perfect and I wouldn't peel them, we'd just like steam them like that or boil them, whatever. Right. So we'll go in the polytunnel after, but before the rain comes, this is where I want to love to know your thoughts on what you do, because I think what I'm about to do. <laughs> let's just put the buckets here. Right. Is that. I'm going to just dig up all that. Now I know. Oh, yes, the bloody rain, man. Right, let's get it. Get it done now. I know, you know, it's all wildlife habitat and all that. But I think you've got to go some ways to keeping your allotment tidy. Do you know what I mean? Because it... Or other folk in other allotments because as you can see there the dandelion seeds are away and I just want to out So which camp are you using? Leaving it like Mother Nature camp? Or keep it clean, keep it tidy, stop it spreading onto other folks? Or the third option, the lazy camp? <laughs> it's sharp. Get a hold. I mean, you can see the, the kind of size, what they get like, and that's just, you know, the tip of the iceberg. There's a hose pipe here for up there, so I cannot really get oh, a good... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to. There we go. I mean, that was a little bit brutal, to be honest. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put the roots upside down here. Just, I don't wanna put them in the compost, but I've got nowhere to put them just yet. Once they're dead, take them away somewhere. Oh, man. There you go then, rain's held off. That'll do for me. Job well done. I can get these nettles in the, the compost. So while I'm here, come with me and we'll... I'm in this mood, I've got my bucket. I'm in this mood. I was gonna do this the other day, but I might as well do it now. Clear out that old salad bed. Just put actually everything in the compost. Watch out, Daisy. I 
I think the rain's got a hole there now. I can see blue sky, mind you, over there, but bloody hell, what time is it? 10, 11 minutes past. But she doesn't like, oh, she likes the warmth of the soil. And you bloody, cut this. Oh. <laughs> it's a good time now to say, if you like this channel, think about subscribing. Honestly, it'll help us out loads and use. You get notified when I put out videos and it costs you nothing and while you're on hit that thumbs up as well that would be fantastic i've just said it's <laughs> the rain's in and it's just it's just getting back out i think i'll plug that green in again and get some water in, in the polytunnel and i think we'll say goodbye yeah i'll see you again soon look after yourselves take good care